Hey there listeners, this is your host Trin signing in and welcome to another episode of Trin's Podcast. For today's episode, I will be doing a book review of the seventh and final book of the Chronicles of Narnia, written by author C.S. Lewis. The title of the final installment of the Chronicles of Narnia series is The Last Battle. Also, follow me on my social media accounts such as Instagram, the Trends YBA, Twitter, at Katrina Ibanez, and on YouTube as Katrina Ibanez. Without further ado, let's begin the book review. And now, before I begin my own book review of the last and final installments of The Chronicles of Narnia, Publication Order number 7, The Last Battle by C.S. Lewis. This is the last installment of The Chronicles of Narnia titled The Last Battle, in which, well, as it says, it is the last battle, the final book, the final phase of Narnia itself. And what happens to all the characters, both old and new? And now on to my book review of The Last Battle by author C.S. Lewis. Genre, fiction, children's classics, and fantasy. Number of pages, 288. I started reading this book on February 13, 2022. Ooh, and finished it in one day. And I read it at an ebook format. Although the review was done many months later, like October 2022. I would definitely recommend reading this book. In the final installment of the Chronicles of Narnia, King Tyran, who is a descendant of Prince Caspian, now rules over Narnia after the events of the Silver Chair. A talking ape named Shift and his friend Puzzle the Donkey team up to make Puzzle look like Aslan using a skin of, of a normal dead lion. The duo then convinces a group of talking animals to do Shift's every wish. Soon, Shift's deception brings the Collarman, who enslaved the talking animals, managing to convince them that Taj... The bird-headed god of the Cornerman and the lion Aslan, hence the name, are one and the same. By the time the news reaches King Tyran and his unicorn jewel, a deadly creature not for the faint of heart that will stop at nothing to protect his master, it's already too late. King Tyran prays to Aslan for help and... Eustace and Jill return to Narnia to aid not in saving the country, but preparing for its imminent destruction. You can actually feel King Tyrion's desper- desperation and hopelessness of the situation as the whole country turns against him. In a final plot twist, Narnia welcomes the return of three out of four of the Pevensey children, with Suzanne notably missing due to her forgetting about Narnia and choosing not to believe in it anymore. Polly and Diggory, from the magician's nephew, reappear as an older couple, as do the Pevensey's parents taken to Aslan's country, a much larger and more complete version of Narnia. What a great way to end the series! And with the destruction of the Narnia that we know and love, the author, Sirius Lewis, makes it clear that there will be no revisiting of that storyline. And on a side note, I always equated Aslan to God in the Roman Catholic sense. And that's all for this book review, my dear listeners. And if you actually want to see or hear the whole story unfold, read the book to find out, my dear listeners. Read the book to find out. Hey there, listeners. That's all for today's episode of Trends Podcast. You can find Trends Podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Don't forget to follow or subscribe and leave a comment. And if you want to hear more book reviews and other topics, stay tuned for another episode of Trends Podcast and keep on listening. <laughs>